So tonight, one woman from Olcott in Niagara County has organized really a small army to help meet the critical need for masks for first responders. And she's doing it all thanks to the help of community, donations, and hundreds of volunteers. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui introduces us tonight to the woman behind Operation Sewing Squad. One sewing video after another. There's a common thread here. These volunteers are all part of Operation Sewing Squad, a group out of Niagara County that's on a mask-making mission. Gina Guido Redden of Old Cot is the group organizer. She's a pharmaceutical engineer by trade. I was already getting um, much more information than your average person might because of what I do for a living. And I was just super tense. Which is why she took to her own sewing machine about three weeks ago and started making masks. She posted her work to Facebook and says it took off from there. Within 24 hours, it was 200 people. And now the actively sewing and cutting and driving between houses, we have about 300. Everyone works remotely from their own home and Guido Redden coordinates it all through the Community Solution PPE Operation Sewing Squad Facebook page. Good she morning, says they've everyone. delivered more than 13,000 masks morning, and counting. Maybe you're at home on your own couch in need of a mask. Well, Guido Redden says she can't fulfill individual orders just because the need is so great. Instead, she's focused Focused on providing masks for those on the front lines. We have provided them to several hospitals, um, several nursing homes, the Niagara County Department of Health, the Niagara County Sheriff's. Guido Redden says she'll keep going as long as she has the supplies and there's a need. Turns out the hundreds of strangers in her squad are offering more than just sewing. The surprise of all of it has been the wonderful relationships that are developing through that Facebook community. I'm sure I've made friends now that I will have for my lifetime. In Olcott, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.